Hi everybody, here's a brief look at some of the lesson activity toolkit options that are available in the Smart Notebook software. We're going to look at eight different ones briefly and give you an idea of how you can take them back to your classroom and use them. In order to get to the lesson activity toolkit, simply go to the picture frame icon, choose lesson activity toolkit, and choose activities and you'll see several of them come up. Alternatively, you can go to examples to see some of the activities and what they look like when they are filled out to give you an idea of what they might be used for. First one we are going to look at is the anagram. Once you click it, simply go down here to your interactive and multimedia and choose one of them. These are all the same activity, just in different colors for your preference. I'm going to choose blue by clicking and dragging it into my page. You'll notice that it loads a template for me to then modify to build my activity. Simply go to Edit. And here it allows you to create your anagram. You can select a speed. I'm going to put it at medium. You can add a timer. And then you can start making your anagrams. For purposes of this one, I'm just going to keep it simple. You can add images as well. And just to show you what the images do, I'm just going to go right back into my picture frame up here. Type in my gallery tool box, search box. And I'm going to take a picture of an apple and put it right in there. Once you have your activity set up how you like it, simply click OK. And then the students can select Start. And you'll notice my activity shows up just like that. If the student needs a clue, I can select Clue. It's going to say Red Fruit. It gives me my image there. And then the student simply moves and selects the letters and places them in the correct order. When they are done, it shows you a score based on your time. And gives you a little reinforcement as well. Again, selecting Anagram from the Lesson Activity Toolkit, dragging it into your screen, and hit simply editing it based on what you need. That is a quick look at Anagram. Now we're going to move on to Category Sort Image. Again, simply in the picture frame, under Lesson Activity Toolkit, under Activities, then down to Category Sort image. Same as the anagrams, you're going to look to find which color you choose. I'm going to choose blue again. And simply drag it over and dump it into your page. After it loads, again, you get a template that you can then modify based on your need by selecting the Edit button. You'll notice here it's asking you to label the columns. For purposes of this sorting activity, I'm simply going to do fruits and vegetables. I'm going to keep it at two columns. I'm going to keep a solve button available. And then you'll notice down here it shows me where I can drag the images that will eventually be in the activity and select whether it's a fruit or a vegetable for the right answer. For purposes of this, I'm going to limit my activity to four images. This goes from, I believe, 1 to 16. And then I'm going to select my pictures. Again, for purposes of this activity, I'm going to go into my gallery over here. However, alternately, you can go into search any search engine and find images or images off your computer and dump them in as well. Again, we'll take Apple, 
want to take my picture. I'm going to just put it on my page for now. And then I can take that and dump it right into the box. You'll notice it resizes and becomes part of the activity. I'm going to do the same thing again by selecting carrot. I'm going to put that right into my box here. Again, it puts it right into the activity for you. Let's go back and we'll find another fruit. And we'll take our peas and we'll put that in there. And then you'll notice we have our activity. The key is before you select OK up here, you want to make sure that the right answers are actually right down here. So the activity is accurate. You select OK. And the students then can come up and sort the images into the right categories. When you're done, you can simply hit check, and you'll notice that I have it all correct. So that is category sort image. Similarly, if you go into category sort again under lesson activity toolkit to the text option and select one of them, it's the same activity template except instead of using images, you are now using text. So here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to label it fruits, vegetable, apple, banana, what do I have left? Peas, and I have carrots. And again, you want to make sure here that it's actually matched up correctly to the right answer for purposes of the activity. When you're done with that, simply go select OK. You'll notice a very similar activity except this time I have words instead of pictures. So it again depends on the students abilities or needs for your lesson. Just want to show you if I did get one wrong and I hit check it'll show me that I got one incorrect there. And then I could reset it and try it again. Or alternately I can select solve and it'll bring the right answers into the page. So that's category sort text. The next one we're going to go to under Lesson Activity Toolkit is called Image Arrange, and that's located right here. Similarly to the other ones, I'm going to just select the color I want and bring it over to my page. Images, image Arrange is good for ordering numbers or quantities, sequencing stories, ordering processes, etc. By selecting Edit, again, it'll take me to the template where I can then customize it for my needs. I'm going to select four images here. And again, this is to organize something in a series or order it in a process. So you could use it for acti activities of daily living, for quantities, for math, but just simply for this we're going to do it for numbers. I can just do numbers one through four just so you can see how the activities work. So one, two, Again, you can import pictures from your computer, from Google, if you're retelling a story or making a process like an ADL sequence or things like that. Dragging numbers into your boxes, you'll see they highlight and jump in. And then when you are done doing that, you can hit OK. And it will give you your activity. And this is where the students can then put the numbers in order. Similar to the anagram, how they shuffle things around. And this looks kind of in, uh, silly just because it is sequencing the numbers and the numbers are up here. But you get the idea. These are pictures of hand washing. Get the soap, you can turn the water on, wash your hands, dry your hands, something similar to that. So it's very good again for ordering numbers, for ordering quantities, sequencing stories, ordering processes, maybe putting a recipe on there and showing the steps of that, or something similar. Again, that's image arrange. Next one we're going to see is image match. Again, back in my lesson activity toolkit. Selecting image match, selecting the color I want. 
Again, you're brought back to the same looking editing template. And for purposes of this, we're going to select, let's do four images. And again, it allows you to put your images and also the text above it. This is actually a good activity when you're doing money or coins. And just as before, going into my picture frame, finding images that I that suit what I want. Again, if I don't find any in here, I can always get them from Google or I could get them from my computer or some other source. And lastly, the portal. Just like before, you're then going to bring your images into the boxes. Because you're setting up the activity, you want it to be in the correct boxes. So you take your image. Place them in the correct boxes. Click OK, and then you're able to match. The images in the words. This would also be very good for matching words and pictures. Matching parts of something. Check your work. And there you go. So that's image match. Next one I want to go show you is multiple choice. And that's just as explanatory as it sounds. It allows you to create text multiple choice activities for quizzes, for books, for comprehension, for anything that you can think of. By selecting edit, you can select the number of questions in your quiz. We're going to just keep it at one for this. Okay, who is the current President of the USA. And then down here you just type some answers in. When you're done with that, you go down here and you select the correct answer so it's accurate when the students are actually doing the quiz. And then select OK. And then you see the quiz. Who is the current president of the United States? Is that Obama? And that gives me my check mark that that is the correct answer. So that's multiple choice text. A couple more left. We're going to look now at pairs, again, under Lesson Activity Toolkit. Pairs. I'm going to select the color I want. Again, it shows you your very familiar editing template. So again, we're going to go to Edit. I'm not going to show my tile numbers here, just for preference. I can select my number of pairs. For purposes of this, we'll just keep it at two. And then I can do Create My Activity. So for purposes of this one, we're just going to do money again. Put penny here. there and then I'll go grab my pictures again from my gallery come out to there and then you select OK and then you can do your activity it's not correct, it flips it back around. And when you get it correct, the matches disappear. Again, this is a great activity to uh, matching images, words, labels, related concepts together. 
um, like sounds, money, getting to know you, pictures, things like that, like a big matching memory game. And that again is pairs under the lesson activity toolkit. I'm going to show you one more activity today. I'm going to go back to my lesson activity toolkit. I'm going to go down to vortex. And we're going to choose vortex sort image. I'm going to do this one pretty quickly because it's pretty similar to the image category sort image. Select edit. I'm going to change this to two for purposes of this activity. Again, I'll do fruit and vegetable. You can go back into your search bar and find some clip art. And again, you can import images, like I said, from Google or from your hard drive. But for purposes of this, it's just simple to go right in here now and do it like this. And once that's all set up, and you click OK, you'll notice your activity again. Instead of going into uh, categories, you can simply drag it, and it disappears into the vortex. It's just a neat way to do it, a sorting or a with images. You'll notice I got it wrong, it bounced back, bring it up here, it goes through. So that was just a brief look, and the nice thing at the end of that, it does put it into the, into the category sort, so you could print that out and keep it as a record of the work. That was just a brief look at some of the features of Lesson Activity Toolkit. We looked at anagrams, category sort image and text, image arrange and match, multiple choice, pairs and vortex image. Hope this gave you some good ideas on how to use these and be creative in your instruction. Thanks for watching.